Throw bass, homie. <laughs> Back up a little bit. Worst side all go. day, homie. All right, so I'm here with Alonzo. Hell yeah. Alonzo, how old are you? I'm 36 year old. Are you from Phoenix? I'm from Phoenix. I'm born and raised in Maryville. But in, in, in fucking in my high school years, I went to Mesa. All right. Yeah. What's your current situation right now? Right now, I'm fucking homeless and fucking I have no place to stay, but I have a really good job and I got out of prison for doing five years for armed robbery and attempted burglary. So you were in prison for five years? Yes, sir. Did five. How was that experience? Oh my God, that's such a life-changing experience, you know what I mean? It made me more respectful and it made me fucking bring out the good in me, you know what I mean? Like I was always negative and fucking I always had a bad attitude, you know what I mean? And it changed me like in, a, in every every direction. And ever since I got out of prison, like everything's been, been falling into place for me. You know what I mean? I got a really good job. I work for Amazon, AWS. I'm fucking, I'm an IT tech uh, analyst and specialist. And I work with computers and everything. I work for the website, the Amazon website. And uh, I make $160,000 a year and I just got out of prison two months ago. Hey, that's really good, man. That's awesome, bro. You know what I mean? That's that, good. So you don't be messing around out here with no substances, nothing like that? I'm getting off of it. I'm fucking going to rehab, dude. Me, me and homegirl right there. And yeah. on April 19th, we're fucking, we're going into treatment for fucking 90 days. And All we're right. Gonna, we're going to clean ourselves up. Man, yep. that's good, man. I mean, she's going. So ever since she told me she was going, I'm fucking going with her, dude. And this is going to be like it because me and her get along really well. And we're, like, she's not my girlfriend or anything, but we're just really good friends. And then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go to do that experience together, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then when I get done with that, I'm gonna help her out, help her get back on her feet, you know what I mean? And, and what's your current situation right now, though? Like, are you homeless or not? Yeah, I'm homeless. I I just fucking slept behind the fucking uh, the, ta the taco shop right there. I fucking froze my ass off last night. It was fucking cold as fuck. But the the homegirl I was chilling with, she, like we got to snuggle, cuddle, and everything. We kept body warm, man. No yeah. blanket, no nothing. Dog. It was just all cold. Last night was the same thing, but I was up, I, a little bit further up at the bus stop, you know what I mean? But you know, I have a job and everything, you know what I mean? It's just that nobody will nobody will rent to me because I'm a felon. Yeah. And fucking, you know, like I have the money and everything, I have all everything situated, but I can't rent to me because like the nice places I want to go to to stay out of trouble, stay away from the ghetto, they won't rent to me because I'm a felon and none of them will do it, you know what I mean? I have to try to find a place that's uh, that's that's you know, felony friendly that doesn't that's not, you know, ghetto, you know, because if I go back into the ghetto and stuff, then right back into the hood, it's just gonna get me back into that mentality where I wanna steal and you know me, all the things I didn't want to do. Yeah. You know, I wanna change my shit around and flip around and make you know, make my make something better of myself, you know what I mean? It's kinda messed up, huh? Like you feel like you're you're trapped and you can't yeah, change your life. It's like a trap. Like the system, the whole system, the way they have it set up is they put you in this trap and then you're like stuck and then like everything that they do, it's all negative stuff against you. Like how are we supposed to survive when we can't even like get a felony? Like the places don't even hire us. Like the fucking places we want to live at, they don't want to fucking hire us. I got, unfortunately, I got lucky where I found a job. One of my homies works for Amazon. He told me like, yeah, they're, they're really forgiving people. They're, they're Fortune 500, uh, top 10 fucking places to work. You know what I mean? And they, they know the shit, you know what I mean? So when you went to go apply for Amazon, did you put on the application? That I told them straight out everything, 100%. You know, I was a felon and I was trying to find a job, you know. It took me like three or four different jobs just to find that one. You know, everywhere else, they literally, as soon as I told them I was a felony, they fucking just, just told me that I couldn't, you know, they'll, they'll call me back and they never fucking call me back, ever. That's good, man. Yeah. Hey, props to Amazon that they're yeah, doing Yeah, dude, that. that's a good place to go. Like I said, it's for... Yeah, it's, yeah. So like, it's, I get paid today. I get my first paycheck today. So I'm like, fucking, I'm gonna hook everybody up with some munchies and shit. You know, all the people yeah. that are cool with me. Yeah, we're gonna go out and have some lunch today. You know, we're gonna keep it positive and have a good time today. So you, you know? got yourself a different girlfriend today, huh? Yeah, that's that's my flavor of the day. <laughs> but I've been five years single. No, we're you know. Homies, we're homies. Yeah, no, yeah, she's she's just playing out. But anyways, I've been five years single and stuff. Like, but when I went to prison, I lost everything, bro. I lost yeah. my baby mama. Fucking. I lost three of my kids. Looking like basically they moved on with life without me, and I was just stuck in a hole, like stuck in this current situation. You know what I mean? And she totally fucking ghosted me when I went to prison, so I never got talked talk to my kids or anything for five years, man. That's fucked up. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Prison was the reason why you got clean and sober. It, it fucking changed my whole fucking perspective on life. Brought me, because I was on a level four yard and it taught me respect. Yeah. And it taught me how to be fucking, to create a fucking tattoo artist. Like everything I got out of him with positive things and stuff that can help me out with my career, you know what I mean? And I put my career back in place. Fucking, I got me a fucking side hustle doing tattoos and shit. 
Fuck, man, I've been making money like three days out of the week. I fucking, it's a perfect schedule for me for Amazon, too. I work three days, I work four days on and three days off. So those three days I'm off, I'm doing fucking tattoos and trying to make the hustle, trying to make my shit, you know what I mean? And then yeah. on top of that, I'm making my money fucking working for Amazon and I, I get paid salary over there. So, and I, I signed a contract for four years, it's $160,000. What kind of work do you do at Amazon? I'm a, a fucking IT tech specialist and we, we work on the uh, Amazon uh, web services. We keep the, the website running up and going, you know what I mean? And then we, we fix certain different problems that are problems with the website and the people, like, that we also work with customer service that we help them, you know, get the product that they need and keep pushing, you know? Now, before you got that job at Amazon, did you have any experience or are they just showing you every, everything there? They're showing me everything there. That's good, man. Literally, I was out when I, when I graduated in 2013 and then I was only fucking, I just barely started my career and like, I wasn't really situated where I was at in Seattle. And like, I, I really honestly didn't even start my career until I started now, until I got out of prison, you know what I mean? I was only like a year and a half because I graduated in 2013 from Washington State University, UW. And yeah. yeah, and I graduated with a fucking, a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering and fucking uh, computer engineering. So I have a, I have a double phase. I, one is my minor, one is my major. But then I want to go back and get my master's, you know what I mean? But like my whole, my whole, my whole lifestyle, man, I've been fucking struggling, bro. I grew up right here in fucking uh, Maryville. Fucking, I grew up on 55th in Indian school. And like, it's like the worst fucking place back in the 90s, bro. Yeah. Everybody was dying left and right, you know what I mean? Everybody's boosting cars, all crazy shit. This is like the worst fucking place to live, Myrtle Capital of the fucking world. What were they dying off of? Fucking drugs, fucking fentanyl, fucking meth, fucking How people. were the gangs over here? It was fucking 90s? totally off the hook, dude. Like back in the 90s, it was like back, Oh man, the, the way it is now, it's fucking everybody's been chilled now, but like, it was a murder fucking capital on this side of the United States, bro. Everybody's just died left and right, man. I, I got, I lost a whole gang of homies to fucking, you know what I mean? And I was part of fucking the crew back then. I, I, I was going through domestic violence with my family and stuff, so I never wanted to be at home, you know? So like, I have this whole situation where, where I ended up on the street just because I didn't want to be with my family because they were doing the same shit, you know what I mean? And like, everything's been a struggle for me from day one, you know? I never had anything, you know? I was always fucking poor, dirt poor, we never had shit, you know what I mean? But, you know, I always made the best of my current situation. And how was your childhood growing up? Did you grow up with both parents? I had both parents in my life, but honestly and respectfully, I wish my dad was never there because he made my fucking life, my mom's life so miserable. And then he used to fucking beat my mom and fucking and come over there and beat us because I would try to get in, front, get in between him and my mom fighting. And then he used to come and beat my ass just for that same reason. You know what I mean? So I never had an easy lifestyle. Like, my whole life has been a fucking straight struggle, homie. Like, I, that's kind of why I'm the way I am. But you know, I'm trying to make the best of what a fucked up lifestyle. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, I, I lost so many fucking kids, so many friends when I was a kid, because we we used to. Cause since I got kicked, I left the house. The only thing I could do to make money, I was we were boosting cars. You know what I mean? We we're out there fucking making money. We had, that's the only thing we knew how to do. You know? And these these people would give us a list of cars, and we would go out and fucking go boost cars, and fucking that's how we made our money. You know what yeah. I mean? And while we we're doing that, fucking. Phoenix police and stuff, they got tired of it and they came down on us. And then they started fucking, a couple of them fucking shot, shot two of my friends, you know? You know what I mean? While we were doing the, the fucking GTO, you know what I mean? Bro, what do you think we could do to to end this epidemic, blue epidemic out oh here? Oh my God, dude, this blue epidemic, dog. Like, honestly, you need to cut cut the head off the chop of the snake, homie. You gotta go to the source, homie. Like, wherever this shit, this shit's coming from China. It's not even from here. Like, the Mexicans, they deal with the cartel and stuff, they deal with it, but they're just like the middleman in the situation. And basically, you gotta get to fucking China and see where this shit's coming from. Yeah. They're doing this shit for a reason, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they wanna try to get rid of us. They're trying to exterminate the fucking native or the fucking American population. Yeah, bro. they're trying to destroy yeah, America. Yeah, they are. They're fucking, they're doing everything they can, you know? This shit comes straight from China as liquid substance, and then they make it over here and make it something, you know what I mean? But. You gotta cut it off the head of the snake from where that shit comes from, bro. And what, why do you think these young people out here are so attracted to uh, the, those blues? It's so cheap, you know what I mean? And it makes you relax, you know, it makes your body, like you make you build your different different person and you can do stuff, you know, like like you see that you, you try to function with it without it, and then without it, then you're basically, you're stuck in a fucking cycle. Like if you're, if you're on it, you're good and everything, but once you come off with the, Within like 12 hours from not having it, you start getting sick. There's three stages to coming, coming, coming down off of blues, bro. The first two stages is not that bad, but when you get that third stage, you're throwing up fucking diarrhea, everything. Like the first thing you can fucking have, you. I don't ever wish that on anybody, bro. Like that's worse than any fucking drug I ever had in my life, but worse than crack, fucking meth, everything, bro. Like it takes your fucking life and your soul and fucking flips that bitch around, you know what I mean? And once you're addicted to it, you're stuck to it, bro. It's like, you know, you're just, 
You just like every some days I don't even get like feel like I get hired. I'm just doing it just to feel well, you know. Yeah. You go around, you ask these guys, you know, like, hey, let me get a slide. I just want to feel well, you know. They don't say, oh, I want to get high, you know. They don't say that shit, you know. We're just stuck in a cycle that, like, if we if we stop a certain amount of hours, we're gonna get fucking sick, and then we start throwing up, and we can't do nothing, we can't function, we can't go to work or anything. You know what I mean? That's the main reason why I want to stop because it's starting to affect my my good job. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get fucked out of here. I'm gonna go fucking rehab and do my 90 days and then find my own fucking apartment and everything, you know? Get my, I want to get a, a, a brand new uh, Chevy Colorado. I'm waiting, I'm saving up all my money right now fucking I get from Amazon. I'm saving up for a Chevy Colorado. I'm going to have a brand new one. That's you know, I'm good. not going to have payments or anything. I'm just going to boom, put the money down, you know, take oh, care yeah, of it. Man. I looked at a few apartments up the road. None of them will fuck with me, you know what I mean? I went like three different apartments, dude. I tried to fucking put an application. I paid the, I paid the 50, whatever application fee, and boom, they take my money, and that's it. You know what I mean? They said they, they don't hire felons. You know, if I'm 100% fucking honest with them, you know? Like, yeah. what can I do? I'm stuck in this situation. I'm stuck out here, and I can't fucking do it. You know what I mean? I tried to go to motels and motels, but that shit is fucking expensive as fuck. You know what I mean? Like, two, three, like one place over here is like $150 a night. Like, that's fucking six nights or seven nights a week, man. That's. That's a lot of money, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not yeah. worth it, you know what I mean? All right, bro, well, thank you for sharing your yeah. story. I really do appreciate it. Are you okay with me using this on my YouTube channel? Yes, sir. I mean, I'm 100% with what you're doing, you know? That's why I can't even approach you and let you get, let me get my story, let you let people hear what, how it really is and how, how it really is out here in the cut, you know? Hey, gracias, bro. Yeah. Um, just in case some of my subscribers want to reach out to you if they yeah. know about any apartments that they take felons, yeah. um, any people that have a, like owner rentals, yeah. Um, where can they contact you? Do they you can contact me. Media? They can contact me on Facebook.com. Fucking, I got I'm Alonzo Batui, A L O N Z O, uh, B I T S U I. Uh, you can contact me there on uh, uh, Messenger or whatever. My phone number, everything's there. I'm also a tattoo artist. I'm trying to pr promote my work. You know, All right, cool. and when I was in prison, I, I learned how to do that. You know, where can they see your work? All you my work is uh, or? it's all on Facebook. On okay. all my pictures, I have over. I did over 90 tattoos. And you said your Facebook was uh, Alonzo Batui, okay. A L O N Z O B I T S U I. All right, Alonzo. Yeah. Hey, man, thank you for this interview. I really do appreciate oh, it. Oh yeah, definitely. Thank you for sharing your story. All right, man.